Welcome to the wild and the remote Wind River Range. Because we're not too far from Colorado, I've been hearing about the Wind River Range for a long time now, and I've only heard amazing things about it. It's been on my bucket list for, I don't know, eight or so years now, and finally made it down. And this is after me almost writing it off for the summer. At the beginning of the summer, it's like, okay, name a couple things that you must do. And the Wind River Range is one of them. And then by the end of June, I was already thinking of excuses why not to come, of all the things I have to do, should be doing, could be doing. And then Ray and Pacer said they were going and they invited me. And I took a moment to think of like, what's the point of all the work I do and everything in, everything in life if you don't make time for what brings you the most joy and also it's just plain fun. Like this is truly what I love to do, love exploring outside. And so went back to realizing I need to make time for stuff like this, no matter how many other reasons I could tell myself not to come. So we backpacked in um, probably about six miles and set up base camp. And then um, after carrying a lot of stuff, I'm probably carried too much stuff. My pack was pretty heavy. Um, but we're setting up base camp now and now for the next few days we'll be running from here. So that's why I could get away with carrying a little bit too much stuff um, and and bringing extra gear just because I knew that we wouldn't be carrying around every day. Like we're just setting up base camp and then running um, around and I'll show you where we're running. Definitely get hit up the Cirque um, towers tomorrow uh, should be a great run there. Pacer is ready to go. Um, but yeah, what a beautiful camping spot. So this is your reminder to make time to do what you love to do. Don't listen to those reasons of why you shouldn't make time for what you love, especially if it's with the people you love. My sleeping bag. Are you gonna move? Are you gonna move from my sleeping bag? Or is that your sleeping bag? Good morning. We are headed out to do the Cirque, Cirque of the Towers. We are headed out to do the Cirque of the Towers and hopefully a little bit more from there, depending on the weather. It was super warm morning, very warm night, especially we're like 10,000 feet and I only had on like a light long sleeves and a light puffy. So that was a nice surprise, especially being quite a bit farther north than Colorado, but very excited for the main attraction of this trip and Pacer, she's she's laying down now, but she's barking at us Yay, at a minute Pacer. ago to, to get our butts moving because Pacer is ready for today's, there we go. Pacer is ready for today's adventure. Are we going, Twinkle Toes? Are we going? Yeah. Oh my goodness. It's Pacer time. Pacer's adventure. Mwah. It's okay. Okay, okay. <laughs> Remember I was laughing in all the 
photos that you took But now it looks like acting Like we were fiction in a book Cause it's the way it goes And I will never know why you let me go Look to the left, look to the right Nothing can stop me in the night Like I'm leaving all the bad stuff And trying to remain so strong I know it's good if I'm wrong I got it, I got it That was very handsome. The streets are ready. The streets are ready. Bless you. The streets are ready. Tons and tons of down trees and having trouble finding the trail. It's been a long day, but we officially completed the loop. Time to head back to our campsite. I think I'm gonna eat lunch and dinner together. Maybe pizza roll too. Um, definitely lots of peanut butter and belly rubs for pacer, but really great loop. I don't think I've ever seen so many big lakes in one loop before. Long day, but it was it was pretty awesome. Would do it again and would recommend it to backpackers or runners. I hope you enjoyed the tour of the loop. It was a long but beautiful day. Again, highly suggest it. One thing I wanted to share that I was thinking about yesterday as we are doing the loop and we're all getting a little bit tired is when you're focused on how you're feeling and it's not necessarily the best feeling, I try to start thinking about how I want to feel. And so yesterday when I was doing this, I was thinking, okay, I'm feeling a little tired right now. How do I want to feel? I want to feel like a little more energy, a little pep to my step. What can I do to feel this way? Um, one thing more um, nutrition realm was like, okay, I took a, like two salt pills at once. Um, and then from a thought level, it's like, okay, let's just pretend we're starting out, um, just starting out for the day, legs are a little bit fresher, um, and then just focus on a word um, it could be like energy or strong or fast and then just keep on repeating that so I don't have room to think about how I don't want to be feeling and sometimes this works sometimes it doesn't um, but I feel like the more I practice it the more it works and the more I commit to doing those things um, again the more it helps so it's something to try whether you're um, backpacking or running um, again, is to focus on how you want to be feeling and think about the steps you can take to be feeling that way. So that's my little tip for this video. Um, we have more adventures to go on. We're going to backpack out today um, and try to see a little bit more um, of the range before heading back home to Colorado. Thank you for coming along on this adventure with me. Hope you liked it. This is really a special range out here um, with all the rocks and lakes. What a beautiful planet we live on, right? All right, thank you so much for watching. Until next time, keep running wild. What are you chanting? Hi, my bear cub. Oh my goodness. Is it belly rub time? Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> so you're like, I didn't have the best position now.